If I hear another dead vine, I'm actually gonna scream. Okay, I won't do it anymore. Don't be racist, I am a building. <laughs> what? Can you stop playing cringe stuff? Please. Someone's got to fill Shane Dawson's niche. Pedophile. And that someone is us. Hey, what's up, you guys? No. Today I'm here with my best friend Chetri, and we're going to be talking about the conspiracy that Stonehenge is Easter Island's toes. Uh-huh, yeah. Now, just to begin, I'd like to say that all of the information is just for entertainment, and all of the information we can compile is theory, fact but fact. So without further ado, let's begin. Historians believe that the construction of Stonehenge and Easter Island are fairly far apart. Stonehenge is said to have started its construction in 3000 BC and Easter Island beginning somewhere around 1400 to 650 AD. Ancient civilizations, knowledge, and wisdom shouldn't be undermined, as it is also theorized that they knew of a meridian system which they used to construct all of their buildings. Basically, it's said that all ancient structures are connected with values close to 10 degrees. Now, this includes places like Uluru, Tewanaku, and Vera Island as well. But to keep the subject light, we're just going to talk about Easter Island and Stonehenge. Anyway, now that that's out of the way, can we talk about how they think Ayers Rock is the ass? <laughs> that's the most important part. The foundation of this theory. Ayers ass. I always knew I was an ass person. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm more of a tall, wide, pale, bitch emo kind of person. Right, right. And also, the heads are so tiny on these things, I'm sure that the rest of the body is probably like a stick or something. <laughs> Slender. Imagine if it ends up being this freakish tree of heads. I mean, there's 887 heads, 30 toes. Assuming that one body shares all that is kind of freaky. Then again, all ancient art is, like, really whack. Please do not ever show that again. Except the Nubis, the Death Daddy. Okay. But we don't know if there are more toes under the floor, so don't discriminate against the short ones. That's just rude. Sorry, that was very inconsiderate of me. Also, why is this one doing a peace sign? Is he, like, you know? No, that's cool. He's just vibing. In all honesty, if this is even true, I think it would be cool to live on a giant person, but Lord forbid who lives on the dick. Who says it has a dick? <laughs> if it doesn't, then I really hope I'm taking a visit to Ayers Rock soon. <laughs> We're sexualizing Easter Island and putting it on YouTube. <laughs> well, I hope that one of them just up and runs one day, like, just out of the floor. That would be a good end to 2020. Imagine the headline. It'd be the only good headline of this year. I mean, Kim Jong-un literally just went into a coma like 30 seconds ago from recording this. Oh my god. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what, you didn't know? Let's just hope that goes well. Please do not tell North Korea we did this. <laughs> <laughs> but back on the subject, there's this picture, which is a 10 foot deep map of the surroundings of Stonehenge. And these red marks are like new structures. You know, those could be the toes of the shorter heads. No discrimination. Right, no toe discrimination. We'd get canceled so quick. Yeah, and then who'd do the conspiracy theories for us? True. I mean, Shane basically. You know what time. You know so we're the only ones left. <sighs> guess we have no choice but to make this a weekly series. I guess so. Also, if this theory isn't true, then we can always rely on buff, hot, sexy, malai statues. Hot stuff. Hotter than purple guy. Just the name makes me shudder after you know what. 
Anyway, let's not imagine that purple guy's sick again. Just these nice comics by old people. You know how we make memes like this is gonna confuse so many people in the future? What if ancient people did the same stuff just to deliberately mess with us now? Kinda like that stone carving of the big chicken. Yeah, I agree. Don't forget it had wings too. Truly terrifying. A fucking pedophile. Good night, girl. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm bolted to the wall. Interesting fact about me: I bought a I bought a gun yesterday. <laughs> I just went out and bought a gun. <laughs> <laughs>